Hey guys, Roman here to talk to you today about gloves. So for the last few years, I've been using Hestra gloves for snowboarding and the specific ones that I've been using have been the Hestra Seth Morrison's. They've been a fantastic glove, um, but they've just kind of worn out. My padding has completely disappeared and the inside has pretty much kind of packed out and the tips of the fingers are actually starting to come through the insulation so i'm starting to feel the leather at the front i think it's time for me to get new gloves i've been looking at the rest of the hestra line and i've been waiting for hestra to give me some gauntlet gloves that have black hands so that when I go snowboarding, I don't wreck the white leather so fast. Uh, I've been waiting for several, several years and Hestra still has not offered any options for us with the white faces. So I started to notice uh, Swanee, which is a glove I haven't used myself before, but I went online and I saw that they actually have a couple of options in a three finger mitt like I like for snowboarding. So I gave Swanee a call and I asked them about a couple of gloves and they were kind enough to send me out a couple pairs. And I liked them so much I wanted to go over them with you guys and let you know which one of these gloves I'm actually choosing to keep for myself. So. Uh, before I do that, I just want to show how I wear my current Hestras. I always have to unzip them. I put them on like this. I zip them closed and then I slide them under my jacket. And it's a pretty good fit. I don't really get a lot of snow underneath because I do have my, my gaiters here. But um, it was always kind of annoying. I always kind of wanted just to throw the glove on so the gauntlet would be over the top. So that was kind of one of my big driving factors. So the gloves that I got from Swanee are the Gauntlet Calvins and the regular Velcro clasp Calvins. So these are called the 3.1 or the, I'm sorry, the 2.1 or the three finger mitts. And I love them. Uh, I was kind of blown away by a couple of the features and I just wanted to point it out. So the first thing I really liked is the utility pocket. And I know it sounds kind of silly, but with the utility pocket, I can put it in my pass. And I mean, if I need a heater too, I can put it in. It has really nice openings to the liner inside. And this way, when I ride, I can kind of just hit the, uh, the terminal or the, the reader, and I don't have to worry about where the pass is in my jacket because my Volcom jacket doesn't have any pocket except right here or down low for the pass to sit in. And sometimes I have to bear hug the reader to really get it to be seen. So that was uh, a super, super cool feature. So the next feature I really liked with these gloves is how soft they are. I mean, it's really easy to flex the fingers. Inside the mitt, they are individual fingers on this side. They're not one pocket. And I really feel like I do have quite a bit of dexterity which is something you kind of want if you're unbuckling or buckling your bindings, taking off your helmet, putting on your helmet. Um, they also have this suede here and here. If you want to wipe your glasses, be careful, or wipe the snot off your nose, whatever is kind of comfortable for you. The other little things that it has is these little leashes. I don't really use these, but some people love them and the gauntlet feature itself. Now, with these, I would be tightening up my jacket, which, I, which was originally my preference, and these just slide over top. 
of my jacket. I don't have to do anything. I don't have to worry about snow getting in. If I really want to tighten it up, I can hit this guy and I'm done. I'm ready to ride. It's good to go. I love it. I don't feel the card at all in the back of the glove. I thought I would, even with it being in length like this, I don't feel it at all. You can kind of see a little bit of the impression, but it's perfectly fine. Now, these perforations are actually not perforations. It's just kind of for looks. I thought it was for breathability, but if you flex it really uh, aggressively, you'll see it doesn't actually go through onto the inner glove. Now, um, these gloves are on the warm side. So if you're a hot rider, Mm, maybe not the glove for you, but I'm a skinny dude. I lack the insulation, and this is, I think, the business for me. Now, for insulation, these gloves have a couple of different features. They have what's called dry finger two membrane, which is their uh, waterproofing and breathability. It's uh, inside, it's several membranes. I'd love to show it to you, but uh, they have a really awesome video on their website that actually shows the different layers. They have insulation of two different uh, thicknesses on the glove. They have Primaloft 80 on the front and Primaloft 170 grams on the rear. So it really does work to keep you warm and not overheat by putting too much insulation on the front or the back. Um, they also have what they call the Dynatherm lining, which is kind of like a, I don't want to, it's like half of it is kind of fleecy. It's, 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 I don't know really how to describe this material, but it feels pretty freaking amazing um, on your hands. And uh, the way the insulation is built into these gloves, they call it the, HDT triplex. Um, it is pretty baller. I'm pretty stoked. Now, Swanee did send me the other pair here. This is um, also a three finger mitt. It's another Calvin mitt. It's a pretty cool look. It has a design here and it has the different closure. Um, this is more the style of my Hestras where Hestra had the zipper. These have this Velcro. It's pretty comfortable. It has the strap inside as well, but you slide these on, you buckle them up, and you slide your, your jacket over. Uh, it has a pretty good size pocket on the front of the glove, not quite as big as the gauntlet style Calvins. These gloves don't have the suede on them and they don't feel as soft on the inside, but I want to say that they're a little bit better with dexterity. They're a little, little, little bit of a tighter fit. Now this might be just like a manufacturing thing, but um, they're both very, very similar with a, just a slightly different look but they are both absolutely uh, super warm and built fantastically. Um, I wanna point out that the gloves are kind of pre-curved so that your fingers are not always stuck out and it's easier for you to actually mess with your bindings and such. So features wise, they offer the same Prima Loft inside with the, uh, with the 80 and the 170 on the side, the same HDT um, triplex insulation and the same um, dry finger two membrane that um, the gauntlets do. Now, I got these gloves actually in a medium and a large and I'm a size eight in Hestra and I tried the size eight in the, the um, mediums in uh, Swanee. And I wanted to just say that the mediums and the larges fit almost the same for me. Uh, I had a really hard time telling the difference, but I am gonna go with the mediums just because they are a hair, hair bit smaller. I would say that the mediums fit like a eight to nine and the larges fit more like a 10 plus. 
So guys, this is my review of these Swanee gloves, uh, the gauntlet and the non-gauntlet style Calvins. They're part of Swanee's Hudson line, which is not as well known. I never was able to find them in the store, but if you buy them online, there's several vendors that have them. I hope this was helpful. I recommend these to everybody, especially those guys who are upset that Hestra does not offer non-white face gloves.